2015 is an historic year. In September, the United Nations General Assembly will endorse the Sustainable Development Goals, the SDGs. The SDGs will shape the global development community for the next 15 years. The SDGs differ from the Millennium Development Goals for the following four reasons. First, they have been developed through a participatory and inclusive process, which included governments and civil society from all countries, as well as millions of citizens. Second, thanks to the inclusive process, national ownership and leadership is likely to be very strong. Third, with 17 goals and 169 targets, SDGs are transformational, as they address social, economic and environment issues in an integrated manner. Fourth, leave no one behind is the central principle of the SDGs, and for the first time, gender equality and social equity have been included both as standalone goals as well as mainstream in all other goals. These transformative goals bring an exciting challenge to the global evolution community. How to ensure countries will be able to evaluate global and localized SDGs with a gender and social equity focus? And how to evaluate complex and integrated policies and interventions? Likely, EVAL partners, led by IOC and UN Women, declared 2015 as International Year of Evaluation. The International Year of Evaluation, a bottom-up global movement recognized by the UN General Assembly and the UN Secretary General, stimulated an inclusive and participatory process to debate how to address the challenges I mentioned earlier. This is happening through online consultation and 71 events around the world, all linked by the passing of the famous Evaluation Torch. It will culminate by launching the Global Evaluation Agenda for 2016-2020 at the EVAL Partner Global Evaluation Week to be held at the Parliament of Nepal in November. Through EVAL Stories, an initiative launched by EVAL Partners in partnership with the Universalia, we have asked evaluation leaders from different geographical regions, organizations, languages and cultures to share their views on what should be the priorities for the global evaluation community in the next four years. Starting next week, we will release one video per week. Therefore, stay tuned. Lots of great and innovative ideas will be shared. Lots to learn and to get inspired from. I wish you a great 2015 International Year of Evaluation.